So let me get this straight. Two groups of people on the same street, one preaching about gay pride, LGBTQ issues, the other preaching the gospel. One group is okay, the other group goes to jail. Hey, smart Christians, I want to just bring this to you because I think this is just indicative of the times that we are in. You never would have thought this 20 years ago, maybe even 10 years ago, certainly 30, 40, 50 years ago. You never would have thought this would be the case here in this country. Remember, we do have a constitution that protects free speech, freedom of assembly, peaceful assembly. And this is what we see here. But here in Reading, you see this man preaching. Now, he's the second person to be uh, stopped or harassed by this particular police officer, the guy that's actually filming. This happened to him first. God bless both of them. The, the guy is from the, uh, I, I think his name is, what, Barely Preacher Man, a small YouTube channel, but go over and check him out. Uh, he needs our support for what he did, what he go through, and for catching this on, on camera. But this other brother who actually gets arrested, this is the second person that this officer uh, approaches and wants him to stop preaching the gospel. To tell someone to stop preaching the gospel, something that's constitutionally protected speech. That's what we got. This is what they're doing in Reading City. Tyrant cops threatening older men and myself for standing out here. You got, oh, just everything you can imagine. So this is quite crazy, but a wonderful providence of God that I could walk out here. And these cops over here, these guys are tyrants. That man threatened me, laid hands on me. But by the grace of God, I could preach for about 10 minutes or so, like I said, before he did that. So the gospel went out. The law went out. The gospel went out. God's going to do work with it. He's apparently a professing Christian, too. That's the horrible thing about this. Looks like some more men just showed up to support us. This cop's going to give him a hard time. Oh, I'm respecting You know who's cheering for us? The people that are in hell. So you do you, and I'm going to do me. This is public property. You. God is not the... That's what I'm going to do. God, this will be brother. Getting this on film. Can I give him my bag while he stuffs him? <laughs> Yo, I'm going to need you to go to 128 North. And they're clapping. Brothers, man. I cannot God believe I'm watching this. You got it? Yep. Yeah, they're threatening us earlier. I can't believe this is in Reading. I can't believe this is in Reading. God bless you, brother. In speaking about this coming judgment, he says, then he continued by saying to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be great earthquakes and various places and plagues, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and will persecute you or prosecute you, delivering you to the synagogues and prisons, bringing you before kings and governors for my name's sake. Well, we're seeing this what you would never thought that would happen, happening now. Jesus tells us that we will be persecuted. And he says, even blessed are us, are those who will be persecuted for his sake, not for our own sake, for doing our own thing. But this man is clearly out here preaching the gospel. I don't know what, what, the, what the end of it was, but I also thought that was kind of telling to just the attitude of this particular police officer as he's arresting him or as arresting has him in handcuffs and has his back and he goes through it, just how he just slams the bag down just kind of telling about the kind of person that we're dealing with. And apparently this man has also said that he's a Christian as well, which hard to believe, Mr. Officer, if you are. If you are, you might be the worst kind of Christian, one who would 
persecute his own brethren for the sake of the gospel, which makes us wonder if he is indeed. But the main point is that we notice these things, that we report these things, that we pray for these things and for these people and that we be vigilant. The time is going to come where it's going to be up to us to also defend the gospel. Some of us will go to prison. Some of us will be accosted. Some of us might lose a job. We're certainly going to lose some friends, but what we will gain will be the kingdom of heaven. Amen.